I hope you guys like Nyaniku. I used Honey Bar Seal Spice, so I just know you two would like it. You say, for tonight's dinner, you prepared rice, salad, yukiana, and lastly, for dessert, uigui. Both Sanui and Genya are practically salivating as they start stared at the good food hungrily. Sanami swallowed the lump of saliva that gathered in his throat, before saying, You really shouldn't have, Yin. He mumbled softly. When he said you were going to cook as part of your punishment, he wasn't expecting you to go this far. Nonetheless, he wasn't about to complain. But I wanted to, Nami, you say, causing him to blush. Now, let us give thanks. You say, bowing your head. Both Sanami and Genya did the same as all three of you prayed. For as long as Sanami had known you, you never actually asked you about your religion. Thank you for the meal, all of you say in unison before digging in. And truth be told, Sanami oh, Shinagazwa's brother, what? Shinagazwa brothers did indeed joy the yakati that you watched in awe as they both chowed down the cuts of meat you'd cooked before gulping down their bowls of rice you gently swaddled sanami's hand away when he tried to reach the urigiri no dessert until you eat your vegetables you scolded gesturing towards his bowl of salad making him growl last time i checked i can eat whatever the hell i want he grumbled pouting like a spoiled child yeah but you need to eat your vegetables too. Eating nothing but uigiri will increase your IDL cholesterols. You say sternly. See, even Genya agrees. You smile, seeing the younger Shinagazwa devishly, <laughs> devishly his bowl of vegetables. Look, fine, I'll fucking eat my vegetables. The wind Hashira gave in and began eating the salad, which contained a mixture of lettuce, tomatoes, eggs, and broccoli. Oh, counted in Viagra. You should also stay away from junk food, so no more of that yucky like ramen flavored potato chips or sour cherry soda. You say whatever was his only reply. I mean it, Nami. It's unhealthy. Also, it'll help you dis distinguish if you eat more fibers and chew your food carefully. Okay. Also, if I ever catch your pet Renayanus beetle in the rice again, I'm tossing it back into the wild. All right. In truth, the sound pillar was... Oh, the, the wind pillar. Have I been saying sound pillar? The, wi the wind pillar was kind of enjoying this. To him, it felt like really having a good time around you again. It was like you two were already husband and wife. He digressed, but whatever it seemed, he tried to head down the wrong path. You always gave him the scolding he needs to set his mind back on the right track just being together with you and genya made him happy that it was almost enough to put a genuine smile on his face if only he wasn't so hell-bent on ridding the world of every last demon to the point it's considered a suicide mission then he definitely wouldn't mind losing this type of life every day with his family i finished eating my vegetables yen can i have some onigiri now Genya asked. You smiled sweetly, seeing that he did indeed finish all his vegetables as you nodded. Go ahead, sweetie. You tell him. Genya beamed happily before taking one of the sweet red bean balls and eating it. A sheer look of delight soon crossed the younger face as his eyes widened. Well, you ask? It's delicious. Thank you, Yinsan. Your cooking is the best. Genya praised before taking another. You chuckled happily to know that he loved your cooking. He's most certainly just like his big brother. Sanami, now finished with the salad, soon took one and ate it. Obviously, he didn't like being the only one left out of enjoying the sweet treat you've made them. Holy fuck, you're really outdone yourself, Yen. Sanami complimented. Language, Nami, but thank you. I'm glad you love it also. You say before continuing to eat the rest of your meal. After a moment of peaceful silence, Sanami also a soon asked, Anyways, where oh. where do you plan on sleeping tonight? He asked you before taking a sip of his tea. You smile before saying, Hmm, I wouldn't mind sleeping in the living room, since you and Genya already share a bedroom. 
To be frank, the house wasn't that spacious, even smaller than his family's old home, only having one bedroom, a small living room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. You then smirked, unless you wouldn't mind making a few arrangements. Why, if you want to sleep in the living room, then that's fine with me, Sonami says. However, he couldn't take this bizarre feeling that there was something odd about your tone that was suggesting something <clears throat> entirely differently. Aw, and here I was hoping you wanted me to sleep in the same room as you so that we could make up for the lost time. You fake sighed before getting up to clean the dishes. Or perhaps exploit my punishments further for leaving and hanging you out dry. You say innocently, Okay, there was definitely something slithering beneath your words. That Sonami knew had something so endearious as a realization soon hits him and he instantly knew that it was what you were suggesting. The thought immediately had blood rushing downwards as he could <clears throat> at the lewd images of you being punished. It's been a long time since you two, <clears throat> and the mere thought of you being <clears throat> beneath him again and reduced to a money mess was just turning him on. However, there's just one little problem. Hey, again, huh? What is it, Nami? Go take a hike. The younger Shinagazwa gives his brother a confused look. But, but it's dark out. Genya pointed out, not truly understanding as to why his big brother wanted him to go for a hike at night. For Sonami, of course Genya would be clueless. He's far too innocent to understand what he, Sonami, was implying. Although Genya already knew about the birds and the bees meant. However, Sonami found it difficult and if not really awkward to tell his little brother to get lost so that he and Yin could have... <clears throat> Then fucking go stay at the butterfly mansion or somewhere else, Sonami hissed. Again, Genya was confused as the younger slowly cocked his head to the side in question. Why? Oh my god, Sonami thought as he face palm. Damn it, Genya, can't you take a hint? I want some alone time with Yen, the wind pillar hissed. Sonami Shinagazwa, came your scolding motherly voice in the kitchen. What? Quit yelling at poor Genya.